So, you're wondering how I film my videos, right? Okay, let me show you. Creating a title for a content is one of the important you must do before the body on the script. I choose a title based on the most requests in the comment section to be added in my list, and once I decided my title, I now make the script. So I usually I separate my script based on each topic that I wanted to share. And each topic, this is where I brainstorm the ideas of things that I wanted to make. So when writing my script, it is always based on my experience. Documenting a part of my life, or sometimes try to tell a story behind it. Because if you try to tell a story, you might get inspired the others along the way. And once I've read my script, I now film my intro. To film my intro, I usually have a different shot angles like the wide shot, middle shot, and the close-up shot. And it should be like this. I always do these three view angles because to give my viewers a perspective when they're watching. Or sometimes you don't need to follow these steps because it is better to be creative on your ways. Like filming yourself, picking a sketchbook, picking a pencil, Filming the sunset, showing the process, setting up my studio, or go for travel. So actually, do whatever you want. Nobody cares. That's the art of cinematography. It doesn't need to be always perfect. Because you might get used every single clips in particular story that you wanted to make. So just film now and worry later. So what camera that I always use to film my videos? I get asked this a lot. I used the Sony a7 III about year 2022 in December last year. And this is probably one of the best purchases that I invested in my whole life. Because this has actually changed the way that I film my videos even this is late 2018. That's fine to me. I invest in this camera because my Xiaomi 10T Pro was always giving up to me. As you probably don't know, this phone is what I use when I start my YouTube channel. This phone is actually can shoot to 4K and I've been using this for over 3 years now and this is pretty much beat up when it comes to my filming. You might experience some overheats and the battery can only last for an hour. And editing my videos in this phone is it gets super lag which is really but I think this is now worth because I almost use its full capability for the last 3 years so it's been really holding until up now. And it is also pretty much sentimental value to me even this is the third time I get fixed this phone. So yeah, I would say if you have an Android phone or iPhone, that would be the best to start your film yourself because the camera nowadays now is so much better. So what editing software I use to edit all of my videos? I use DaVinci Resolve to edit all of my videos for over a year now. But apparently, DaVinci Resolve is limited to the features that I wanted in some ways. And so that, I use the Filmora in some part of my edit that I really needed. As you probably don't know, Filmora is actually very simple to use if you're new to editing. Because personally, I use this in particular edit like this speech to text AI feature to my subtitle. So in order to achieve that, first I start to import my clip to Filmora. And then I select my clip and go to AI speech to text and click the transcribe. So this will extract my voice over into subtitle in just one click. And then once I finish to extract my subtitle, I now re-edit that and check the spelling that I wanted to change. And once I finish to edit all that, I now exported the subtitle into SRT file. The Filmora can also use an AI smart cutout to make your own templates like this. 
and also you can make your own music in just a scratch using the AI music generator which is you can now create your own background music with no copyright sounds in just a second. To do that, just pick the mode that you want on your music and set the duration and the number of the music that you like and click to start. So if you wanna learn more about the Filmora and make your edit in a simple way, just go to Filmora, link in my description below. So a big thanks to Filmora for sponsoring this video. You probably don't know, I always use the natural light when I'm filming my videos or you can use a very cheap softbox that I bought in Shopee. I use this every time I film my process on drawing and I use a tripod with the KNF concept and I set my tripod like this so that I can have the top angle shot that I wanted in my drawing. Filming with natural light is one of the most I use on my videos like this. You just need to place your camera in a certain angle or just film it in the correct time. Or if you don't like the angle, I will just do that again in the third time until I get the perfect and the best shot in that angle. So what effects I use to film more cinematic? I use a black background, a jade cut, some basic fonts, light leaks, dynamic zoom, panning, ambient sounds, whoosh effect, black bars, and of course adding the voiceover before the transition. So you have to mix that in every bit of the music. <laughs> 